Well, we made it. We made it through this crazy school year of 2019, 2020. And I'm here in my car and I've got a sign in the back here. It's been in my car ever since the parade that we did for the seniors. The Kaufmans had that waiting for Mr. Oak and for Mr. Nemeth and for me when we got there. Uh, a couple other families had signs for us too, so that was very kind. Thank you. It was lovely to see everybody, of course, and wonderful to see those of you that joined us on our class Zoom meetings yesterday. Um, I had some news that I wanted to share with everybody about my summer, but it wasn't public knowledge yet, so I couldn't. But my news is that my sister is going to be adopting a baby in August. So uh, he lives, his family lives in Kansas. So it'll be a, a baby road trip to go pick up that baby. He's the little baby boy and we're real excited about it. I get to be an aunt. I'm, I mean, I'm already an aunt because Kenny is one of seven and each of them has about seven children. So I've been an aunt to many wonderful children for a, quite a long time now. But the difference is, is this is my one and only sister and she's now going to have a baby. So that's my exciting news about the summer. And I wanna wish all of you a wonderful summer as well. And I'll be taking this sign into school and putting it in the choir room. It'll be there to welcome all of us when we get back. However that looks, right? Um, hope, hope everyone is joining choir again. And um, those of you that are seniors, I really hope that you come back and join us when we do the Hallelujah Chorus, of course. And that when we do this, what we have to do, some type of alumni concert, alumni trip, something to help us uh, capture back what was taken from us because we missed out on a lot together in this crazy year. So there's that. And um, I'm really always pretty bad with signing off of my videos. So we'll just have a last little nod and wish you guys well and hope to see you all again very soon. Bye. Hey guys, I don't have the great news to share that Mrs. Secor has. So I thought I'd go with a little story. Uh, back in the day, Oops, I have a little jar here. These are fig bars. And when my kids were growing up, nobody, we found out, likes to go to bed. So what we did was at the end of the day, when I was playing with my guys at night, when it was bedtime, I would say to them, hey, let's go get a fig bar. So we would take one of these out of the jar, and we would sit around the kitchen floor eating fig bars. And just about every time, at least a lot of times, my guys would say, as they're eating their fig bars, Dad, we can't go to bed yet. We haven't done this or that. Or we were going to do this. And we talked about doing that. And I would say, yeah, but you you did this. You, you did that. So you made your choice as to what we were doing. And now it's the end of the day. That never settled real good with them. But... They knew it was bedtime, and that was kind of our way to celebrate the end of the day. Come to find out, there's some other life lessons. By the way, I highly recommend Fig Bars. This is a mason jar. And if any of you have ever heard this story, there's been some people, sorry, I'm trying not to smack too much. There's been some people who have said, this is kind of a life thing. So, you take this jar... And here, let me tip this down so you see my jar. And you fill it with rocks or sand or marbles or water. All these things, you keep filling it. So you fill your life with everything. And one of the big lessons of this is when you fill it up, you can't stuff any more big things into it. So if I have this full of rocks and marbles and sand and water, if I had something big, it wouldn't go in. Well, that's a great lesson. And my guys kind of learned that from the fig bars. When we're at the end of the day, you don't get to do anything more. You've made your choices. But this jar story is a little bit more about put the big rocks in first. So it's about prioritizing. So as you fill your jar for the day, 
you got to think about what are the things I really need to do? And some of them you have choices for. In a pandemic, you don't have many choices. Big rock is stay at home. But some of the other stuff, you have all these choices. Brian just got his college uh, schedule for the fall. And when the college gives him his degree and says, we certify that you did this, they're going to have taken him through a whole list of classes that they say, to get this degree, you have to do these classes. That's not his choice. If he goes to school and says, I want to doodle for four years, and then you tell me I have a degree, they're going to say, no. He has to put the things in that they make him put in to finish with the degree. More life choices that people make for you. But the crazy thing that I, I think some people fail to remember about the jar, you got to put your stuff in the big rocks first, make your priorities, have those things in line. But this is the cool part. Every day, you get a new one. Every day, you get an empty jar. So you're going to have a line of these. Sorry, I don't have a whole bunch. But by the end of your life, you're going to have a whole line of jars. And every jar will tell the tale of what you did for that day. Write the date. Every jar will have what you did. So if you spent the pandemic playing video games, well, you're going to get the rewards for that. Probably very little. If you spend the summertime playing video games, you're probably going to get the reward for that. Probably very little. But when you start to think about what should go in my jar, what's my priorities, what big things have to go in first, and what do I want to end up at the end of the day and say, oh, I didn't get that done. And then I wake up in the morning, new jar, empty new jar and you get to try again every new day you get to try again so we're really excited for mrs secor's sister and we know that this has had some lessons in life for everybody but uh i would like you to just sort of leave with a little thinker lesson this is not mine this is other people's idea but just something to think about i want you to have a great summer i want to come back and in the fall get some choir in the jar and really prioritize some of the things that we want to do that we couldn't do in the spring. And we're looking forward to that, but uh, we love you guys. We hope you have an awesome summer. Uh, we hope you get the chance to think and hope you get a chance to put some things in your jar that turn out to be awesome things. Take care. What a year it has been. First of all, I'd like to thank Mr. Oak and Mrs. Secor for all your help this year. Um, I could not do what I do without you guys. So thank you for your support, your ideas, your creativity. Uh, you guys are the best team and I love working with you. Thank you very much. To our Penn Choir boosters and to our parents, you take the program to the next level. Um, there simply aren't enough of us to make the program work with just three of us as directors and we really rely on you. To, to help us so thank you so much for all your time effort and dedication it really brings the program to the next level uh, to our school administration thank you always for supporting what Penn Choir does in our mission uh, it means the world to us that we have your support students thank you so much for all you have done for us over the year you've really helped us to live up to our mission the Penn Choir is a place for all you don't have to have the best voice or the highest GPA to fit in. There is a place for everybody in Penn Choir and we thank you for making it a welcoming place for everybody. And seniors, you took an unprecedented situation, something that really could have gotten you down, something that you have every right to be upset, angry for, and you made the best of it. Certainly, it didn't go the way we wanted at the end, but you didn't let that keep you down. You, you kept coming back and you really are stronger for having gone through this process and I know that it's going to serve you well in the future and that's kind of the goal of Penn Choir or any organization for that matter isn't just about that activity it's about how you grow as a person because of that Mr. Oak says that all the time and I, I really believe it so seniors thank you for hanging in there um, it was such a joy to see you on the senior parade as we were presenting the roses and the awards um, just to see the <laughs> Just to see your faces again, quite frankly, was wonderful. And I look forward to seeing you again, except next time on stage as a Penn Choir alumni. You are always welcome. All alumni are always welcome to join us, especially as we sing our Hallelujah Chorus at our concerts. 
we don't know what choir will look like when we return next year, but what I can promise you is that no matter what it looks like, Mr. Oak, Mrs. Secor, and I will do everything within our power to ensure that you have a wonderful choir experience. So make sure you subscribe to this channel, Penn Choir, on YouTube, follow us on social media, because we will be posting things occasionally throughout the summer as we start brainstorming and figuring out what's the year going to look like for us. But like I said, I do know that with the team that we have and the students we have, I know it's going to be a great experience no matter what the year ends up looking like. Have a wonderful summer. We are so eager to sing with you again in the fall, but take a much needed break at this point and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Happy summer.